It's Bourbonites Live. Hello. Hello. How is everyone? That's Chad. I'm Sarah. That's Chad. I'm Sarah. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Whatever okay. you say, Chad. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love that video. That's, oh man. If anyone That's, gets that reference just from nobody's that Nobody's going to get it. There's this, um, this guy on TikTok. I can't even remember his handle or whatever. His, uh, <laughs> what do the kids call it? But screen, he does like. Screen name? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, handle, I guess. Uh, he does uh, voiceovers for his cats when they meow, and he makes them do impressions. And normally, like before they do the impressions, like, okay, cat videos are just <laughs> okay, guys. Who's who's ready to do some impressions? Like, yeah, they all meow. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, and it amuses us in our I've, spare time, which man. there isn't a lot of. So, I've rewatched some of his things. It just. It gets me. Sean Dobbins says he's t-shirt twins with you again today. Oh, good. He was wearing it last weekend at the Kentucky Barber That's Festival. That's right. So last live, we were admittedly Oof. low energy because we were we had driven back from Bardstown. Uh, feeling that, much better that today. day. Yeah, we're feeling much better. And right off the rip, we have oh. a super chat from Jeff Wimbush. This is up here on screen. Jeff. Jeff. Says, not here for the whole ride tonight, y'all. Go Niners. He's not All here right. for a long time, but he's here for a good time. Oh. <laughs> not like on the planet, I mean in the chat. I, I know, but that that could just take on so many meanings. He's not here for a long time, but he's here for a good time. Are you saying we're not a good time? Oh, we're a great time. I think we're fantastic. Get your mind out of the gutter. We are, and we, Courtesy Cowbell of cheers to you. Dan and Julie like. Yes, like time whiskey. Great uh, growing growing their channel, channel here on YouTube. Uh, this is Old Granddad Kentucky Straight Bourbon mm. from 1971. It's 86 proof, and that's what we're starting off with. Um, the 70s and the 80s really are like, mm, like especially this. I really love 70s whiskey. So good. I mean, this is just like, even though it's 86 proof, right? I feel like people are gonna fuss at me for saying that. Normally, I wouldn't gravitate towards that because I feel like that much water, you lose a lot of flavor, personally. Yeah. But this age of stuff, like this vintage or whatever, man, the caramely, butterscotchy richness, mmm. I would happily drink this all yes. day, but I um. cannot. They, <laughs> but they sent us enough to share, which is lovely. I cannot. I cannot. Uh, it's been a long week, Chad. It has been a long week. Um, it's been kind of a rough week, admittedly. True. That here in a second. I wanted to talk about how this episode was just called It's Bourbon Night Live. It's because we're just kind of doing a little grab bag tonight. A little sample Sunday. Yeah, we got samples. Uh, we got a new bottle Some that was gifted to us. Them. And, and uh, yeah, things like that. So that's whatever you have. Maybe it's something that you haven't cracked into yet. Go ahead and grab it. Drink along with us. We'll have a good time. If you need time. to uh, polish anything off. If you're here for a good time. Or you can also be here for a long time. Or both. Or both. Or both. Now, why don't you tell them, Sarah, why it's been... Oh, it's been a rough week. Um, <laughs> we've been in and out of the vet all week with Zoe. Um, we were... Well, Tuesday was our two-year anniversary, but it was a Tuesday. I was like, who wants to go out on a Tuesday? Most places, good places are closed. So like, let's have our anniversary dinner on Wednesday night. So we did, um, and we left, and everything was fine, and we came back, and Zoe was very sick. So mm. we spent the entire evening uh, from like 10.30 until about 2 o'clock in the morning at the emergency vet, and we were in and out of the vet for the rest of the week um, until Friday afternoon. She had to stay for a bit. So she's doing better now, but <laughs> um, all that to say, if you've emailed, sent a Patreon message, sent some form of contact anywhere, like... Uh, we might be behind. We are behind. We are behind. We're yeah, yeah, admittedly yeah. behind. Yeah. We had to divide and conquer. Like I, well, you had to. For. You had to uh, go off on Friday on your own while I stayed at home and held down the fort. That's right. I had to go to a barrel pick without Sarah. But he did get to bring back uh, sample bottles, and I did agree with the findings of the group. Um, so it is. So Sarah approved. It as is well. approved. Yes, <laughs> and I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just been not great. So I'm happy to be here with you guys. 
There you go. A little you emotional. <laughs> That's well, my so, baby. Yeah, it's your baby. I don't care um, if anybody's like, dogs aren't babies. Like, that's fine. That's my baby, though. It's a baby. It's a baby. Fight me. <laughs> so we got a lot of what's news slash sample shout outs. Um, I uh, ran into, or didn't run into, was, you know, but I met uh, Joe Carter, who, who uh, sent me home with some, with some samples right here. And it's some uh, some goodies. We got some Maker's Mark, uh, Ohio pick, some Russells. These are all Ohio picks, I believe. Mm, I said. I think that's right. Uh, some yeah, some Maker's Mark, some Old Elk, uh, Redemption. That's the High Rye pick, and uh, Wilderness Trail. Just all real Ohio quick. Ohio picks. Before we move on, this one. Yeah. I'm gonna do two. Sure. This one is for, since we are drinking on Dan and Julie's samples, that's for their pup. Oh my God. So, yeah. 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 Which we're very sorry to hear about. And yes. I, yeah. Raise a glass to Dan. I can't Julie's even imagine. Pup. Yes. Oh, mm. and here I am complaining about my weekend. Right. Well, you know, if things hadn't gone, I know, you know, that's always a, we don't like to think yeah, about these things. Nah, nah, nah. We were very sensitive. Sean Dobbins. <laughs> I've been making Sarah's hot to hot toddy recipe for Kimber uh, for sore throat, bourbon Ooh, yes. free during work hours. I uh, hope your pup is okay. Yeah, she's doing she's doing, she's much, doing much better. better. Thank she's you, Sean. She's sleeping right over there right Hopefully now. Hopefully Kimber's feeling better as well. Yeah. With that sore throat. And then Joey Tony Bagadona says happy anniversary and speedy recovery for Zoe. Thank you. Yes. We'll do another triangle for this. Thank you so much. We will have to. Uh, have a makeup. Well, my birthday's in like what? The, Couple weeks. Not this week. Next week. Yep. And we're we've got plans this coming weekend. So I feel like we'll just roll it all into one. Mm -hmm. I don't even mind. Oh, and speaking of Joe Carter. Speaking of Joe. He says, "I uh, hope you like those." Cheers. So, well, thank, thank you. Thank you, Joe. That triangle is for you too. Yes, we'll Whoop. have to get some <laughs> in our glass. That was great to meet. You. I really enjoy that. Um, Seventy-one. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. good. Yeah. Stop yeah. doing that. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure someone knows. Mm, nobody knows. I know. So. Moving on here. Uh, actually, the same time that I met Joe, met these guys. Uh, so this this was Matt Green. He's from Whiskey and Whitetails, which, uh, you know, sometimes I don't pay attention completely when, t when hearing people... So I don't remember. I want to say Tennessee, but you can't absorb everything all the time. I can't absorb much. I'm not a brawny. I'm not the brawny man. But you could be. I could, well, there you go. Okay. I wouldn't. Uh, mind. This is super cool. It's a stave that has been cut and then rounded out for a rocks glass, and then hey 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 oh. You put your oh stop. You scare me. You put your little wood chips in the middle, and you. He's gonna, he's been doing, stop! <laughs> he's been doing this since he got it on Friday. And I'm like, Torch. okay, well, we're automatically gonna have to replace anytime we go to make the Probably cocktail. Probably not the best. A rent in this room? Yeah. yeah. I know. But, uh, but yay. But Very yay. cool. Check, Can't. yeah, check them out. Uh, I think on all their socials, it's Whiskey and White Tails. Don't learn me. So, <laughs> go, uh, go follow them and, uh, you can order these kits. It has Whiskey and White Tails. Um, Burton to the side there and good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Uh, John Wadsworth said I would not stop playing with that. I agree. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I got He's too much been whiskey around obsessed me. with it. So yeah, uh, it is Ryan awesome. Tarpy's birthday. So well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ryan. Here, give him a little cowbell. Oh. Give, me, give you a little. Well, little give him another one. Boop. There. <laughs> oh, we might need to grab that triangle too. I Sarah. will. But let's get something else in our glass. I'm empty. I well. Okay. I'm like, Ryan. well, good for you. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> good for you. Um, little President's Choice. Roll on with the Dan and Julie. Did you want to do one from Joe? Well, sure. Where did you that. put it? Put it right over here. Underneath your flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> one moment and we will get to your super chats. I know this is good TV. The waiting. You love it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see. What do I want? I kind of do that Wilderness Trail. I've been feeling you do? that lately. Yeah. Okay, let's do some Wilderness Trail. We are awaiting uh, two two different 
selections from them. Yeah. Coming soon. Coming soon. I hope before Halloween. That would be fun, but we shall see. So okay. this is a single barrel. Just gonna take a little bit. Not gonna empty this whole thing. So uh, starting with uh, Michelle, Michelle, with very nice super chat. Thank you. She says happy anniversary. Oh thanks. Uh, we are biting the bullet and trying a George Dickel for the first time tonight. Oh. We picked up a 15 year, so we'll let you know how it goes. Intriguing. Yeah. Let us know. Let, let us know, and thank you for that. And then our good friend James Wolverton saying uh, the title card picture. Where was that taken? Uh, Zoe, get better soon. Thank um, you. I think the. Uh, well, it's a little photoshoppy job, so it's two part. Uh, us, we were just up on the deck. The background, I feel like, was wild turkey. I feel like that's their warehouse. Are you talking about the title card or like when we're introing? When it's oh, because that was taken at Relic, James, us, which I know us, you know in Lexington. Yeah, in in Relic, yeah. And then the one, the title card that we put up at the end, where it says "See you next Sunday," is outside of Relic. But in the uh, um, distillery, distillery district, distillery district, town which on, we love, we would recommend. Nashville. Town, I'm not sure which one you're talking about, but now you know both. <laughs> and we have one more. <laughs> oh, there uh, they are. Whiskey and white tails. Whiskey and white tails. Thank you for yeah. the uh, Thank super, you for chat. super chat. So yeah. there they are. You can click on their name to, you know, go check to them go out. visit to go to go visit and get your very own th flamethrower <laughs> that you will probably also keep playing with, just like Chad. Does. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's going to end up in our. Um, Holiday gift giving guy. Yeah, for, we're pretty excited about for that. For sure. I and really like the Big smoked. Vic. Hey, Big Vic. He says, happy anniversary, my friends. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Vic. you. I appreciate right. that. To Triangle. everyone. Triangle for all. Yeah, Ray Love Chapel's it. saying Relic is great. It's uh, fun to visit. They probably have one of your, you know, King of the North chairs there. They probably do. Mm -hmm. That's why he likes it. This is really fruit forward. Any like picture, maraschino cherries. Any and... picture of Zoe, mm, not loaded into no. the computer, and she's she's like right under the camera, eating her foot. Uh, yeah, she's feeling better today. She played for the first time. She started to play last night. She was more playful today, so yeah, that's good news. Because I didn't like it before. Yeah, that's a good news. It's. Kind of lemony. It is. A little lemongrassy. Mmm. Okay. It doesn't come off as lemony. It's got more... I feel like it... This has got to be their... Uh, this tastes rye. rye. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's rye. I was like, this tastes like rye. <laughs> um, yeah. Lemony and lemon zest and rye mm -hmm. and... Yeah. Like you said, like lemongrass-ish. Which is very different coming off of that vintage um, old granddad. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's a few opposite decades ends, in between. But also, like, flavor profile. Just sure. very different. So Joe is saying that uh, his favorite of those samples is the uh, Maker's Brownie Sundae. Mm. Which sounds delicious. We also have Scooter uh, reminding people to hit that like button. We support that message, if you wouldn't every uh, time, care. And I don't mind it, but every time we ask for that, we always get a thumbs down or two. Which is fine. None so far, but we'll get like five here. Yeah. Now that you've asked. <laughs> well, we just got three thumbs up. So, you know. True. Thank you for that. Uh, this, this, no. Settle down. This looks like a, a, a new super chatter, if I'm not um, Ooh, mistaken. Damon, Damon Sanchez. Says, happy anniversary pouring a Yellowstone 2021 LE, Ooh, which we haven't tried yet and no. I would love to. Jealous. Uh, also celebrating grabbing three Stag Junior Batch 16s this week. Very jealous. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Sir. Uh, send us an email. We'll give you our address. You can just go ahead and send one of those bottles. Was all that over. super chat to hurt, to hurt me? <laughs> that was a deep cut. That's a different no, type I'm of just super kidding. chat. Congratulations. No, that sounds you. like. That's, that's awesome. Here, you're having we'll, a good we'll night. Do a... And as predicted, we have one thumbs down. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're up to 95 thumbs up. So that's, hey, that's very cool. That's, that's great. Yeah. That's... Um, <laughs> Fred said, aged at C. Wait, I don't think that we're talking about the same thing. I think you're talking about something different. Probably. My bad. Probably. Sometimes I come in the middle uh, of chat conversations and I'm like, what yeah. What are we talking about? Oh, Kilco just uh, picked up our, our two newest um, single barrel picks. Mm. We have Ezra Brooks and a Rebel. It's now safely in his hands. So we should actually talk about that. That's a good um, yeah. segue. Thank you. Oh. Uh, and also, you can go watch his YouTube channel as well. 
Um, Kilco Whiskey Musings. So that barrel pick, like depending on the yield, we mostly only release them to our Patreon community and they sell out or they sell out to the point where like, we only have a couple of cases left, and then we're able to release those. If that may be sometimes. If maybe. Sometimes it's like five <laughs> bottles. If that may be sometimes, um, asterisk. Right. Yeah. Dependent on the yield and everything and how much interest there is. But with the Rebel and the Ezra from Lux Row, we had like a record high yield. Um, so it might make it outside of Patreon, but currently the only place to get them is uh, for, our, for our Patreon members. They are getting lower and lower all the time. Um so we feel like they might make it out of Patreon this Just time. Just because of the record high yield. But you know, we're we our Patreon is is is, is growing and and we are growing stronger. <laughs> little, I didn't like that. Little uh little Sith little Sith Lord in there. Sorry about that. Um scary. But Justin, thank you for the super chat. Justin. Crack it open a Wild Turkey Masters Keep seventeen year old B I B from my mm. B Day celebration. Cheers, yeah. y'all. That's a good one. I like that one. That's what, the first one, right? Yeah. I also I like so. uh, the decades. Yeah, decades Happy and, birthday. And that first first one are like two of my favorites. Ooh, um, what are we gonna drink for my birthday? I Should don't we know. do it next Sunday? My birthday is on like a two zero Wednesday. So it's uh, kind yeah. of like mm-hmm. I say the one before. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how I feel. We have next one Sunday. one last uh, sample shout out slash what's here, new slash what's new, and this is from Scott Honeycutt, and it's Scott really cool. Very cool. I'm excited to frame this. Yeah, it's a Rambler's Guide to Kentucky Bourbon, and he has so he, an, an, he has Etsy, an Etsy, store. Etsy store. He does yeah. like these custom maps, and I love it. It's got like all these different, you know, all the different like. Um, emblems or symbols from all the different distilleries and it's kind of you know yeah a little bit of outline of kentucky and it's just fun all these little things to read i just feel like this would be a great conversation piece he also included the rambler's guide to greater cincinnati Ooh, and i do like cincinnati so that pig up there whoop no wrong hand chad <laughs> there it is one pig's fly yeah so that's very cool so thank you scott yeah i love that. it so much thank you I'm very excited. I'm going to have to go pick out a frame this week. Put that up there. If I can get away. We'll see. A couple more Super Chats. Thank you to Ian. Happy anniversary. We love the Ezra uh, Ezra Brooks uh, oh. BMW. Apparently that one got delivered in a BMW. Stop. I... BMW. Probably, by the way. Probably BTW. supposed to be. Probably supposed to be beep, beep, I'm thinking... Beep. Or you're just... It's like a weird flex? No. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you, um, Ian. Speaking of weird flexes, look at that pair working out that Ryan sent. I love it. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, that's from... That's from Ryan at uh, Kentucky Wildcats. Oh. Uh, where I get my, my wig split, as they say. That's a term. For getting your hair cut. I never heard that. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Thank um, you, Ryan. Good to see you on here. Yes, thanks for cutting Chad's hair. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I love the description. Pair character doing a classic mic, mic drop. drop. Oh, he wasn't punching. He was doing a he mic was drop. doing a mic drop. I thought he was doing like, um, what do you call it when you have the like way you do the bell? front raise and you do the side raise? Kettle, I don't know. Kettle bells, right? No. No. But that's okay. <laughs> no, right. And then David Little uh, saying happy anniversary, sipping a little Bard Sound Discovery number four in your honor. Thank wow. you. That's awesome. I just got toasty She's got in the here. vapors. I think it's just because. Just tell you. My hair's getting so long and I wear long sleeves. You should sleeves. go see Ryan. I wear long sleeves and I don't think my hairdresser would like Ryan, that can, very much. Ryan, can you cut this? Stop. <laughs> you can do it. I mean, I believe you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, BMW Bourbon Meets World. Oh. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Yes, thank bourbon you. Bourbon Meets World. That's the name yeah, of the that's, barrel That's the pick. name. We have uh, Bourbon Meets World and Saved by the Bourbon are our two, um, yeah, our two names of the Rebel and the... I love the Saved the by the Brooks. Bourbon. Yeah. Um, I love them both. Label. And you know what? I was I very... Love them both too, but... I was very uh, Ezra Brooks as my favorite. Well, not very, but... Until... I was Ezra Brooks, Ezra... I was Team Ezra. And then last night, I had uh, Poor Both... And I think the weather. I don't know if it's the weather or if they've opened up in the bottle. But at this moment, I'm Team Rebel. Mm. I'm well. I've been Team Rebel since day one. So, so again, you no, can go, I like them both. But you just go uh, pick those up at Patreon.com/slash 
It's permanent. And if, uh, you know, Patreon has rules, we can't post the links directly to the alcohol sites. So um, if you are a patron and you want the links and you haven't seen the you're links. you're like a new patron, yeah. Because we do email them, but it's been a few weeks since we emailed them. So if you're yeah. a new patron, send us a message on there. And I might not get back to you today. I definitely won't get back to you today. Yeah. I'm going to bed after this. Um, but yes, very shortly, I will return your inquiry. Uh, or you can send an email to itsbourbonite at gmail.com. So, so Joe here is saying that um, we've also really uh, turned them on to vintage bourbon. We're tasting a 1970s mm. ancient age 90 proof tonight. Butterscotch and very oily oh, finish. Yes. Also just bought a 1983 and 1984 beam mm. after meeting Chad. Oh, wow. Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> I, I I feel like I'm changing lives for the better here. That's so making me I feel good. I feel a little bit torn about turning people on to vintage because I feel like it's a cruel thing to do because there's a you know a finite amount it's of also vintage a bourbon. It's a gamble and it's expensive. So it's like yeah. But once you have a taste for it, that's what I mean. Though it's kind of well rude. <laughs> you can also go. I mean. We're kind of spoiled in Kentucky with we're some kind of awesome spoiled. vintage bars. We're kind of spoiled, period. Well, yeah. <laughs> because but of you guys. Thank you. I was going to say, you can always just go to a bar and, and get a nice vintage pour. <laughs> no. Not everywhere, but uh, just the other day, actually, after our, our pick, we went to Frankfurt Avenue Liquors in Louisville mm -hmm. and got a pre-fire Heaven Hill uh, Virgin Bourbon 101 <laughs> proof for $35 a pour. And, you know, yeah, that's not nothing, but... To taste something from a distillery that no longer exists. Mm-hmm. It's like a piece of history. Is super cool. And like... Just don't fall in love with it, because like he said, there's a finite amount. But, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I think we might have some... Are there mod issues? Or is there a troll? I don't know. Mm, there's might, some chat about it. Might have some trollage in here? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Um, Might have to deputize someone here tonight. So. When Chad does that, he just starts like scatter shot, like handing things out. Wait, I forget how you do that. I also don't know how you do it. Um, anyways, so again, we just finished the Wilderness Trail Rye. This was a single barrel pick from Ohio that Joe Carter supplied us with. I thought it was, I liked the rye flavor, but it also had like a lot of lemon to it, which at first was a little um jarring i guess to go from obviously the 71 um old granddad and then to come to this was a bit jarring right totally different profiles uh but at the end of this like i really liked the lemon was refreshing with a little bit of the mint and the rye like it honestly tasted it kind of gives me like a tea on it maybe even like a hot toddy vibe of a whiskey itself so I liked it a lot. Um, we like Wilderness Trail. We love what they're doing over there. And like, they're just, I just think of them as mad scientists. Pat Heist is literally amazing. Listening to him talk, I'm like, that's all over my head. But I <laughs> feel like I only get a little bit of it. And I'm very impressed. Um, okay. I have just deputized for four new mods. Lovely. So we are now rich with mod power. Um, so kick that guy to the curb, please. And there's... Chad does these know. things in an instant, in a If you don't want those wave, powers, whatever, let us know. We can take them away from you, and if you did not get selected, it's nothing personal. It's just whatever came into Chad's ah, mind in that look, moment. And, and Trev, Trev, the original Bourbon the Ranch. The Bourbon Ranch. Is here. Uh, he was on a nice vacation this weekend. I was very powers. jealous of his yeah. view. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? You're move always on. jealous of his view. Um, <laughs> don't say that to me in front yeah, of him. Yeah, let's get something in our glass. Cause we have a we have an awesome, awesome, awesome super chat here from Jason Newman. Well, I never. Well, I never. I'm the vapors. Don't tell on me. Uh, you... okay. So we've got three Hogback Distillery samples that we can try, mm -hmm. uh, courtesy of Chris. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a. Let's go. Ooh, these are stout. We have an 88 yeah. proof, but then one is 122 proof two year and 129.6 proof finished in rum barrels, which sounds very good. I feel like since these are all three from the same distillery, let's do all three of them on another night. Okay. Let's go with I'm this buzzer. I'm pretty sure I don't want to try them tonight. Oh, you did? 
Well, we've been putting these off too. I agree with you. I think those deserve their own time. It seems like they just they need to be a little vertical. And they need to be together. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. agree. And we're already at I'm out. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, why don't I take one and you take the other and we'll share. Okay. You got the peated one. I got the peated, which people have been like, have you tried that peated? And we've been like, no, not yet. But we have a bottle. And they were like, oh, you're missing out. <laughs> which I'm a little hesitant because peated and us are we usually a, not. We had something from Kings County that was peated that we liked. Their peated bourbon. Their peated was, yeah. it's a, it smells nice. Yeah, you know, just because it's peated. It smells kind of woodsy. Just because it's peated doesn't mean it's scotch. Like, you know, you can peat other whiskeys. But I think that that's like a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, like a preconceived notion that right. we're having to get over. Right. It's like, again, why I like doing things blind? Because oh, I wouldn't know. There's Chris right there. Say no problem if they go to another night. Yeah, Thank Chris, you. Yeah, we, so, we want to give them the time and attention to do the full I was vertical. Say, I, I, told I feel them. like we're ping ponging around a lot tonight. Yeah, so. well, uh, we're, we're just excited. Yes. So in my glass, uh, Buzzard's Roost. That smells good. So there's a great, amazing... I've been there once. We need to go there together. I want to go. Uh, Bourbon's Bourbon Bistro. Bourbon's Bistro mm, in Louisville, go. Kentucky. Uh, they're behind this brand right here. Buzzard's Roost. I have the straight rye whiskey barrel strength, 115 proof, aged I, at least four years. I have the straight rye whiskey peated barrel, 105 proof, oh. non-chill filtered. This is a San Francisco World's uh, Spirits Competition gold medal winner of 2021. This is aged at least four years. <laughs> so, Jason Newman saying cheers and happy anniversary. I'm stuck at work, so please have an extra sip for me. You got Thank it, you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Triangle coming to you very Shortly. soon. Joey Tony Bag of Donuts says, Chad, you're wearing my favorite shirt. I'm not also wearing Or wait. I'm not also wearing it because that would be weird. I see. Uh, anyway, yeah, you got my samples around there. Uh, yeah, yes. yes, yes, you know. Can you reach them? I could reach them. It's okay. Shh. You could reach them. We'll circle. We'll circle, circle back. back. We're going to circle back we'll on that, Joey Tony. Aren't they right there? They're literally right next to you. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're literally right no, there. No, I didn't. I forgot. I put them. We will snag one after we do these two. How about that? Yeah. Uh, la, 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 um, la, 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 Joseph, I have the power. I'm out of him. <laughs> I love that. That just makes me think of Jafar from yeah. the original Aladdin. Yeah. Um, no, that's all I can think about. Yeah. Wow. And there's a lot of Tony, chats. new phone Tony saying, I remember that peated stuff. Tis great. Happy anniversary. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Um, I appreciate that. While we taste through these. I did, I will give the, the triangle. I saw a question from a SM, SKM. Well, who also just gave what a nice compliment. Even though I think that we are different and also both very good. Um, said uh, that we have the best bourbon channel. He said e he or she, I don't know. I can't tell from your screen name. Said uh, even better than Rex and Whiskey Vault. And I... I'm just going to put that up on the screen. That that is an insane compliment to even be <laughs> mentioned in the same sentence as them. They are great guys. We're going to get to see them next month. In the same breath, as they say. We are both talented in different ways. And, like, I super respect what those guys do. Absolutely. Like, they're amazing. I mean, so. they, they run... But I appreciate that compliment. Yes, That's very that nice thing very to cool. say. Thank you. They um, run the, the gamut. They, they do, do so the much all work. The so and they're much so content. talented. So much. Um, well, look at this. Throw down. But anyways... 250 likes and we will get a Jaeger bomb. Is that what you... <laughs> from from Trev? From Trev or from me? From Trev. Because I we don't have any we don't have those ingredients anymore, purposefully. Yeah. Um, but S M K also asked how much bourbon do we drink like on a daily basis? Is it S K M or S M K? I can't. S K M. S K M. Sorry. Mm. Um, Scum. Scum. Uh, how and we got this question in an email the other day, so I think it's like something that people want to know, and I think it's something that we should talk about. Do okay. You, do you want to talk about it? Sure. Uh, I mean, I would say people ask, like, do you drink every day and how much do you drink every day? And it's a pretty tricky question. Um, the answer is no, we don't drink every day. But we do drink most days. When we drink, it's... Most days. It's usually for the show one way or another. Either we're recording, we're drinking something... For uh, I know this is good. You're drinking the peated stuff. Drinking something for, you know, like research for a show. Um, we're doing live, right? 
Uh, we're, we're doing a barrel pick maybe. Uh, I mean, we still do grab something and like, you know, just in the mood for a bourbon because that's where this all started just for, for the love of bourbon. Sure. But we don't drink every day. And I think that's by design because you need to keep a check on yourself and make sure you can go a day, days, um, it's good to check in with since, You know, since we haven't ever done, like, a, a dry month. We have not. Um, it's good to at least put time in between. I feel like you're being very tiptoe about this. Um, no, I'm which not trying is to fine. be. I'm, not try I'm, I'm honestly not trying to be tiptoe. You're not trying to be tiptoe. Um, <laughs> Am I giving a politician's answer? A little. So, well, no. I mean, I think how I would describe it is I think that you maybe are underestimating how many days a week alcohol touches our lips. Mm. I think alcohol touches our lips at least six days a week. I disagree with that. I think that if you counted back the days of this week in which alcohol has touched your lips, you would find that it would be six out of seven. Nah. Five to six days a week. However, sometimes it's just literally a, a pour smaller than this. Yeah, one, not even one a day. And it might be just to taste for the purposes of doing um, a barrel pick description or um, sure. a barrel pick itself. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to describe. We're like, we're taste testing for an episode to make sure things go together. Sometimes we also do small sips if it's like, especially like lower proof stuff, more everyday stuff for episodes and we'll spit. Um, again, because yeah. we do drink, That's we consume so mm -hmm. often, That's we something. try not to consume so much. It's something that I'm, I guess getting used to is spitting because mm. I've never done that before, but you know, I can evaluate to a certain point, um, when I do spit. So like, say we're doing a big barrel pick and I've got to try 10 different things. I will sip all of them and I can spit immediately after all of them. And it helps me narrow it down to two or three that just based on that initial kind of, how do you do? Um, I can figure out like that. Those are the ones that are standing out for me. Yeah. Then I'll just go back to those and I'll actually like sip them and have the full experience so that I'm getting a better idea, but I'm trying to limit my consumption sure. for myself. And also, uh, as the channel has gone along, I think we've learned just how little you can actually have or need to properly evaluate something mm. like, you know, with, uh, with a flight fight, we typically were it's under an ounce each, and if it's a really hard flight fight, we'll some, it's a full ounce. If we're battling between two to see which one's first or which one is going to come in last, then they might all all go away. But I would say that the most that we drink each week would be on these episodes, lives. Yeah. Because we're sampling yeah. a lot of things and yeah. we have... That's accurate. I'd say this is probably a half to maybe a three-quarter ounce pour. We have four to five, so that's yeah. about four ounces. Yeah. Same thing with a flight fight. It's roughly four ounces of flight fight. Sure. But we don't do a flight fight a every under. week. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we just do an uncorking, and so then it's more limited. Um, and again, so I would call it more like we taste most days rather than drink most days. Mm. Um, but I'll on, tell you. And then, like, the days that we do drink more for work, it's either because we did a flight fight or we're on Sunday nights we do right. this. Yeah. We also, like, you know, don't go out that much. We work a lot, which I'm not complaining. We love it because, like, this is work. <laughs> so, but we also try to limit, like, if we're out with friends or things like that, try not to go overboard. Chad, more so than me, I get excited about social situations and forget. Um... <laughs> Yeah. We also try to drink lots of water, and like you said, it's good to have a dry day or two every week where and you just... like Michael says, reset palate, you know? It is a good yeah. to reset your palate. <clears throat> every time I try to take a dry day, though, somebody always asks me if I'm pregnant. I cannot take... I cannot just say, no, thank you. I'm taking a dry day. People will be like, you're pregnant? I'm like, no, I just need one to two days a week I'm to... starting to ask me that, too. ...rest my body. <laughs> like, may I please? Yeah. Uh, Sting the Third saying, hey, IBN... Uh, new to the community and excited to be here. Hashtag bears. Bears. Well, we've seen you around Sting the Third, and, and thank you we for have, that. We have, but thank chat. you for the we super chat. It. And Brian Brennicky saying happy anniversary. I drink for science. For Tra science. Trademark. Is that <laughs> what TM means? As well. What? I wanted to. There's a shirt that I have in mind that's like whiskey. It's science and like kind ah. of 80s or 90s like weird science weird type science? of. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, t-shirt yeah. theme. I, I would like that. Yeah. But maybe I'm the only one. Well, it's in the queue. It's in the queue. It's not at the top of the queue. I don't think everybody wants it. Glenn and Kathy Golf Whiskey saying happy anniversary. We're drinking three chord whiskey. Uh, draw oh, whiskey drummer. Uh, Swincher are going to see Ooh. Neil Gerardo in concert next week. His Don't wife, call him Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar husband. will be there too. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> that goes back to our celebrity whiskey episode. Just go watch that and then read the comments. Uh, we get ripped apart because apparently we were disrespectful to Neil Gerardo. But it was we a weren't. joke. We it was weren't. a joke. I was clearly. I'm, I'm saying if you go off, uh, if you go off what the, if you don't understand sarcasm, um, the comments, <laughs> they weren't the happy with it. Say. So that's fine. Um, yeah. But thank anyways, you for those super chats. I hope that that answers the question. I think that in summary, we try to be very conscious about how much we're intaking every week and, um, you know, check in with ourselves regularly and yeah. yeah. Just be aware and try to manage it in different ways. Mm. Um, dang, dang, dang. But Sunday nights are not one of those nights, so we're having fun. Yeah. Somebody else also asked, uh, and I can't see where did it go, um, what else do you drink when you're not drinking bourbon? And I think it's gone up mm. above Tony's. I can't see it. Um, let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, Scooter says, what alcohol do you drink if you're not drinking bourbon? Mm, red wine. Red wine. Um, not much. Really nothing. Nothing really. It's just bourbon no. for him. It's bourbon or bust for Chad. It's bourbon or bust for me, baby. Um, yeah. You know, if we've been working outside all day and it's a hot day, like maybe a cold we'll beer. have some beers, but yeah. that's like maybe once or twice a year. Other than that, yeah. beer's just too filling for me now Yeah. that I've gotten it's, used it, to whiskey. It's not that, you know, um, I couldn't drink a tequila or a rum. You know, we do have a few other bottles of that stuff around. Sure. And if it was offered to me, I would partake. But I had a gin cocktail the other night that was excellent. Yeah. If you're in town, OBC Kitchen in Lexington just released a new cocktail list. They're Harry Potter themed drinks. So whether or not you're into that is fine. But they're delicious. Mm. And I have, to have them. the Golden Snitch, which is a gin cocktail, which I never would have ordered. But they were like, you just need to try this. So I did. And it was so good. Like, I could have had three. Mm. And I never drink gin. Just no, no more than one So it was very impressing. Let's talk about this whiskey. This barrel strength, uh, 115 proof. Oh, we should talk about the whiskey. Rye is... I'm enjoying it. I've just been... This is really good. Honestly, sipping on this peated like it's nothing. And Let's it try. is really good. I oh. like it a lot. Peated? It's not... Um, peated rye. It's not super aggressive. I think it's pretty well yeah. balanced in there. Uh, Non-chill filtered, 105 proof, straight rye whiskey, peated barrel, which is what I have now. Yeah. Stan Lee says, me and my father are going to Lexington. Appreciate the ideas. Thanks. Yeah. Check out OBC Kitchen and go down to the distillery district on like uh, anytime Thursday through like Saturday is probably the best days to go. And just walk around. There's mm. some bars and restaurants down there. Go to Goodfellas, get a piece yeah. of pizza, get a cocktail. It's a nice little area. You can pop in Jamesy Pepper. And... Man, peated rye is different than peated scotch. It is different, <laughs> isn't it? Wow. Thanks, Mike. I just, I wasn't Mike. trying to get all these anniversary things. That's so <laughs> Happy nice. Happy anniversary to you both. Best wishes to Zoe and her speedy recovery. Mm. Thank you, Mike. That's greatly appreciated. I will give you... Ooh. Give me mine back. I know. It's good, right? <laughs> a triangle cheers. Can we do a pick of this? I would like to. Well, we'll have to go back and eat there and yeah. and see what we can find out. Still haven't told that story about my experience at, at Bourbon Bistro. You have time. We're just rambling anyways, pretty much. It's true. Mm, yeah. Whiskey and Whitetail Dang. said we had several cocktails at OBC last night. Can verify. Yeah, they're very good. And, and, they also, they usually put their barrel picks for sale. These are not for sale. They had a E.H. Taylor single barrel, barrel pick. I can see why and it's not for sale. When I was in on Tuesday. Yeah, because like, why sell the bottle when you know you're going to sell well, out? Well, they would, Anyways, they would buy sell the glass. Out. They would sell out. Immediately. Like that, yeah. Um, yeah. So, they had that and they have a Stag Junior pick coming out soon. Um, and there was one more. I think an Elijah Craig barrel proof, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I was so floored by the first two things that he said that I kind of he blanked out. Blanked out on like the last um, the last one. So, anyways, if you're in the neighborhood of OBC, they have got great barrel picks either on the menu or coming, and Amazing good cocktails, cocktails, and obviously get the bacon in a glass. Yeah. Um, 
but that's just uh that's just it but they want you to spill the tea about your uh experience oh okay well i feel like we need to get something else in our glass for story time mm. this is good this is very good mm. joseph brazo <laughs> saying my heart goes out to zoe and sheila uh, um, yeah. Cheers to all the pups. Cheers to the pups. Cheers. Again, I'm going to do it again. Cheers to the pups. I just... Dogs... Mm. Yeah. I just have, like, such a sensitive spot in my heart for all animals. But, like, I can't watch a movie where an animal gets hurt. <laughs> I w Literally, when we start watching horror movies and there's a dog in the beginning, I'm like, if this dog dies... And then usually something If something happen. happens, I, I will be like, I'm going to turn it off. <sighs> because... I mean, you don't, but... Yeah. But I always say that in the beginning, and I never yeah. do, because I'm invested at that point. But I don't like it. It's hard for her to watch John Wick, <laughs> right? I but like, sobbed when I saw the beginning of that movie. Or uh, I haven't seen the others because I can't believe they did that to me. Well, I think he gets revenge for it. He does, but that doesn't take away know, what or, happened. Or uh, I Am Legend. Mm, stop! Why are we bringing these up? Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, it's strange to me. This is from Robot Scott. I can't even find Stag Jr. anymore, and the one place I did see it, they wanted two hundred and fifty dollars. So how are their picks? So up how are their picks? Said. So I ask them that very question. I'm like, how long have you guys? Because Buffalo Trace basically is a giant queue with their picks. Like you had to be in in order to get a pick. Now, to my understanding, I've never been on one, so I don't know the full ins and outs. But based on working in the restaurant business for a little bit, knowledge. Just my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Basically, in 2015, 2016, if you were in line for a Buffalo Trace pick, you could get a Weller pick. Recommend, like, by the way. You do the Buffalo Trace pick, and then you can do an Eagle Rare pick, and then you can do a Weller pick or an Antique pick. Um, and then you could do, you know, you climb up from there, right? But then, obviously, everybody, like, everything exploded bourbon-wise, and you couldn't get anything anymore. And so it was like... They severely limited their picks and they're allocated. So basically, if you weren't in line a few years ago to get whatever's next up on your list, like OBC's probably been in line for, I'd say, two to three years to get these picks. Mm -hmm. um, so that's they, how they, they put did in their it. time to do the crime. Pretty much anybody now who's like, I really want to see Buffalo Trace picks. Like, we ask our patrons what picks you guys want to see, and we'll automatically be like, I know you want to see Buffalo Trace. I want to see Buffalo Trace, but it's not going to happen until 2025, maybe. Like, we'd have to get in line now to get. Yeah. That's... And I know they're expanding their production. They're building the new warehouses and everything, but yeah. it's going to be a while. Uh, we've moved on to helps. Gold Zephyr. This is straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, this was sent to us by the distillery. We should also say that uh, the Buzzer Juice were also sent to us. Full disclosure. By the distillery. It was sent to us by the um, distillery. However, it was, it was because, via a patron yes. whose name I cannot remember off the top of my head at this very moment. Yeah, that's us. Who put in the mm, the it's the whiskey? Yeah. Uh, also, I can't. Know, the, I can't keep a Rolodex, but I know that it was a patron who we very much appreciate. Mm -hmm. Spoke to mm -hmm. them or put in a good word for us, and they and then all of a sudden the sample showed up. Yeah. So we're very thankful. So Gold Zephyr, uh, four years, ninety proof. Probably not fair to do a 90 proofer after that 115 proof. It smells kind of grapey. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Michelle Martin. He's, she said, now we can say we tried Dickel and that's all I can say. And I hear uh, you. I hear you on that. What a, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything approach. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Scooter. That tastes like peanut butter. Actually, but like, it does. It tastes just like peanut butter. It does. That's... And jelly. Because it's grapey, too. It is grapey. Um, on whole wheat bread. Pause on that for a second. Scooter okay. says, Chad, uh, is that shirt color available on the website? I like the color of it. Um, I feel like... No, it's not. No. It's sold out. We did a little but push and, and they're... Honestly, we've been having a lot more interest in it since it's been sold out, which is weird. Um, we were testing the color and like 
this is our classic logo. So we've introduced our new logo since then. So I'm wondering if for holiday or the fall, we reintroduce the, the shirt, but with, I don't know if there will be like an uproar if it's not the classic logo again, or if we should do, um, what the, like the new monogram logo mm -hmm. on there. Do the monogram I think on the there. monogram will look really good. Maybe a little, uh, a little faded or something. Maybe. You know, like a one pass I color. Know, I really know. like it. The pop? I don't know. I like the pop. And you can't see it, but, yeah. um, we're bad. We still need to change like all of our little profile pictures and things. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, that's the time. <laughs> <laughs> the five year, uh, update rollout is. It's you know, a rolling change. It's a we'll rolling change change but ray wants that new oh ray and scott both said the new logo okay yeah i think so yeah. i think that's what we're gonna do we also have two new shirts coming out soon i'm very excited about them Ooh. i think uh those of you who are in the chat weekly and like are really you know invested in the channel like will like them a lot yeah i think other people might get into it and like it but i think like it's really our, for it's really for our regulars yeah yeah so we're really excited i don't want to spoil it so I can't wait though. Mm. This, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's you're saying peanut <clears throat> butter. I'm not getting like the the texture of peanut butter. It's more like um, salted salted peanuts, mm. like that flavor. It's gotten less like creamy peanut butter. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if it was a higher proof, you would probably get more of that mouthfeel. Maybe, yeah, and, yeah, and get more of the peanut butter. But this is more, yeah, like peanuts. It's pretty, pretty good for just four years. Yeah. Wow. 90 proof. Peanutty. Four year old. It's almost reminding me. It's a, it's a little, um. Gold Zephyr, everybody. Uh, on the finish, it's a little harsh, but I expect that from a four year, right? Um, but I, the peanuttiness of it and I'm like the mouthfeel almost reminds me, I mean, it's very beamy. It's a little beamy. It's like a little beam esque. Yeah. Um but like, okay, so compare it to Jim Beam White Label four year. Better. Better. Definitely. <laughs> of course that's eight eighty proof. And this is ninety. Price? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Robot Scott. Is there a Halloween candy episode this year? I love following along with that one. Mm. Katie and I wish Zoe feels better soon. Thank you. Well just because Scott you asked, I feel like we will. Yeah, I love doing that. It's we didn't do it last year. We didn't. Um, what were you thinking? So yeah, I think I think we should. We should probably just do we like should. three Halloween episodes because we love it so yeah. much. Um, we'll give you the cheers. So the candy. The candy. And then there's the flight fight that we did last year, two years ago. It was last year. It was the the worst whiskeys as nominated by you by all. you so it's kind I'd of i'd like our, to do that again our little pass yeah <laughs> as nominated by you i want to bring back tricked or treated I like tricked with or... whiskey let's do that again i like that let's do tricked or treated our game show uh yes yeah yeah harder newer rules i've been year. experimenting with some more cocktails trying to find another good halloween cocktail because I just because I actually made the holiday or the holiday the Halloween cocktail. I helped last year. You you did. You I did. contributed the bitters. You sure did. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. But it was a Chad driven cocktail. My f one and only. So I gotta like. He does. You know, bang that drum. Well, normally I make the thing and I bring it to you and you tell me it needs less of this and mm, more of this yeah, yeah, and true, we true. we tinker. But this time you brought it to me and I tinkered. So. Um, but yeah, so, okay. I love it. Let's do that. Um, I won't be dressed up for the candy episode, but. <laughs> well, here you go. If you want that blue t-shirt, Sean is offering up his on the secondary for $300. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. I, I mean, it was I a limited it. run. I would say get it. They're like less than a, maybe like a hundred of these out there. Scooter with the idea about the Nightmare Before Christmas themed Halloween costumes, the you as Jack Skellington and me as Sally, I've always wanted to go as <laughs> Sally, to be honest. Like, for years, and then I was just like, nobody's gonna wanna go with me. Oh, I'll go with you. Yeah. No, you won't, because we already picked. We did already pick for this year. For an episode, but if we're gonna do multiple, let's, let's just go out. I love Halloween. And, and that's a lot. And, and we're getting into it 
early. We're already watching. We've just watched... I'd never seen Scream, so we've watched through three this week because we've been on the couch with the dog. So yeah. every night we kind of watched a movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I also... We've been talking about other... <clears throat> sorry. Like 90s Halloween movies or spooky movies that we want to watch. And I want to know what your all's favorites are. So my current wish list is... I want, I just want to watch um, I Know You Did Last Summer. Again, even though I've seen it like five times, I still just want to watch it. I, 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 I He's watch not going to object to Jennifer Love Hewitt or Sarah Michelle Gellar. So that's fine. Um, the Faculty, which... I've only seen once and I really loved it. And Idle Hands, which is like I remember it being kind of goofy and ridiculous, but I still would want I want to watch it. Yeah, again. I want to. I've seen that forever. Tell so, us. And Jennifer's Body. That's not a hell. That's not a '90s movie, but right. I want to watch that. So Michael saying Pugsley and Winsley <laughs> Adams, but their brother sister. That's a little weird. We actually talked about that because I w I think I would be a really good Wednesday, but then Chad was like, "What will I be though?" Because I would say I could be the the weird guy from the second movie who liked her at camp, <laughs> but. That's a but little that's bit like more... a kind of a deep cut because he, he could be Pugsley. Cut. That's the brother. He could be Gomez, but that's the dad. Or he could be um, <gasps> Uncle Lester, but that's the uncle. So it's all kind of creepy. Is this um, true? Did you know that Catherine O'Hare voiced Sally? No, I'm gonna have to go back and Jack Skellington. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Uh, Kimber says we binge all the Saw movies during October. It's a tradition. We've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we need to. We've talked about that. I've only seen, that. like, the first and second one, so. Fester, not Lester. Why did I say that? My brain. Your brain. Um, we've got some Joey Tony bag of donuts. Do one. Right here. We have time. Okay. Okay. I don't know anything about these. Okay. Okay. Oh, wooden bill. Ooh, cast strength. Yes, please. Okay, okay. We're gonna do the the one that uh, that we know and and we feel safe. Yeah. Wooden bill, cast strength, rye, one hundred sixteen point six two. Chad could be cousin it, but is he also a cousin? I don't know. You were cousin it. I did for like a second. For a second on like our first How Halloween fly I fight. I did do that. That was, that was fun. Let me tell you about my. They want us to be Catherine O'Hare and Linge Eugene Levy from Best in Show. But I want to be Catherine O'Hare. Okay. From Schitt's Creek. I really just want to go around doing her voice all Well, I could be... Um, you want to be Eugene Levy? Sure. Or you could be my daughter, Alexis. Alexis. That's kind of weird. Alexis. And... <laughs> you just do the hands. Uh, they're always up like the... Oh, so cute. Yeah, exactly. See? All right. I think we figured it out. No, I would be David, obviously. Yeah, you'd be David. Yeah, yeah let's be have, honest. You already have the sweater. I do have the sweater. Yeah. I have, listen, half my wardrobe is black. I feel like I already relate to him very much. Yeah. <laughs> David. <laughs> Don't was do author, it. Uh, also another TikTok. Looks like the construction workers have abandoned oh, yes. the, their structural pursuits. <laughs> the mason. The ma mason. Yeah, the, yeah, the masonry. The whatever. masonry. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they don't watch the same TikToks that we watch. I feel like they We're do. just like watching them. Yeah. It's like back in the day, I just used to love like in my early 20s when uh, we would go out on Saturday nights with my, I would go out with my friends and crash at their houses and me and my best friends would just like lay in her bed on Sunday mornings watching Vines and giggling Vines. through our hangover because it would be over in like two hours. I yeah. miss that time. <laughs> we'd just be like, let's order Great Bagel and giggle through these Vines. There and then go. I'd feel better. And then we'd go to brunch. Let me just say that we have 184 uh, likes right now. And I think Trev Wilson, if he's still in the chat, said if we reach, was it 200 mm. or 250? He's still in the chat. Okay. That he was going to do Jaeger is what I interpreted that as john said he would pay to see you perform a little bit of lexus and <laughs> i'm a little bit i'm a little bit ah, 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 a honestly little bit lexus. i would pay to see that <laughs> but like from afar like i wouldn't want to be in the same room but would i have to shave this is the conundrum of the halloween costume to be a lexus chad's like well i don't want to shave my beard trust me you guys don't want to see me shaved i'm just so baby faced i mean obviously i would be okay with it I prefer the beard. I would rather you do anything but shave. And I think some people are like, well, that's kind of shallow. Like, well, why can't he shave his facial hair? And I'm like, okay, so if I shave my head, you'll be cool with it. Do you like my long hair? Yeah. Yeah. So I like your beard. You're going to go as... Um... 
Not uh, that I couldn't shave my head. Whoa, hello. I totally could if um, I wanted to. Demi Moore and G.I. Jane? No. I'm... She not, actually shaved her head for that We're not movie. built the same. Me and Demi. Oh. <laughs> Ray says he feels the same. He'd look 12 if he shaved. Right. Yeah. I, I just, just... It just compliments your face so well. Yeah. Is all I have to say. Well, there you go. I always feel like I've seen you with this for five years, and it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't feel like you. I, I feel, know. I feel like maybe I could go shorter than normal, maybe. <laughs> but full on. Coco wants to see you with a mohawk, and I would totally do that. I support it. I mean, I think I could achieve mm. a mohawk look without actually nice. shaving my head on the sides. Like we sure. just slick it back and then do tall ponytails. <gasps> Very cool. Ooh. I like the kids' mohawk from Hook. I want to do that one. Rufio? Yeah. Rufi. Oh. Yeah. Stefan says, all these movie references are flying over my head, and this is what usually happens at this part of the <laughs> Welcome show. Welcome to its bourbon night. It's Chad and I spin <laughs> off into a, some sort of pop culture oblivion, yeah. and uh, and there we are. Yeah. Which is why we theme all of our barrel pigs pop culture, because... Imagine that. This is what happens. Um, Should I tell my bourbon bistro story? <gasps> Please do. I'm so sorry. If we can get to two, but I didn't let you uh, no, do that fine. earlier. If we can get to two fifty thumbs ups, we're at two eleven right now. I want to. I really want to, Trev to. Can he dial to drink, in to drink Jaeger? I wish he could. Uh, I don't think it's possible. I'd have to like send him a link. It'd be a whole thing. Be and whole how thing. will you tell your story? Uh, where are you, Trev? Are you capable of? Where in the world is Trev Wilson? Doing <laughs> probably on a boat somewhere. Probably where on a cap boat. At. Well, maybe he could dial in next week and do his Jaeger bomb then oh, well. if he so chooses and would like to no pressure i just want him to do him this woodenville is really good again this it is, is really good woodenville cast strength rye 116.62 proof mm. very tasty we love that distillery he said he would dial in and he is capable but how will you send him the link and also um tell the story tell your story uh yeah that's a good He's not sure. question. Do I have any stories? Okay. Uh, story time. <laughs> story time. Ask Sarah. me anything for two minutes while he composes this email. Uh, Don't go, please, H. I think that means I'm not supposed to go because you want Sarah with an H, which can happen. Um, What's your... Tyler Thompson says Jaeger isn't a punishment, though. It's Trev. But where is his email? Trev Will, right there at the top. Oh, that's right. That is good. Okay. Dial a friend for Jaeger. I will not be doing the Jaeger. Um, what What do you just sent you a link? Know? Trev. While we wait for Trev, if he if he wants to join, he may join. I'm sure he's got to get his Jaeger bomb together. Um, All right. Here's my story. Oh, now you can tell your story. So Sarah was invited to a Bourbon Women event with peggy no stevens peggy and no others stevens. which was honestly like i gotta say really nice yeah i'm not gonna take your story time no no, no that's cool it was just nice to uh, be we're usually together so it was nice to go yes. do our own separate things yes i could have gone to the thing but i would have been the only guy and and and, and, and be as i am a bourbon woman he is uh it's you can be a male and, and be in bourbon women it's sure you know, uh, but i still think for you and I both. I didn't want to be the only guy at, at, at the thing. So I said, no, I'll I'll drive you to Louisville. I'll drop you off. I'll go do my own thing. I'll come and pick you up. Right. You have a good time. We go to so many events this together. This is your time, Sarah. It's nice to have our own time. So I was in Louisville. Yes, you were. Uh, with, with, with nothing, nothing to, to do. Nothing to do. And I had been like, I've and always wanted to check out Bourbon's Bistro. You should go. I had always wanted to check out Bourbon's Bistro. I should go. So I went... <laughs> <laughs> this is me trying to tell a story. Go. <laughs> so I go to Bourbon's Bistro and, um, you know, I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, table for one, please. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's how I said it because I figured that's how you have to do it. All um, by himself. And they're like, do you want to do you want a table? I was like, yeah, I'll just take a table here in the bar area. So I had a little, you know, uh, two top there in the, in the bar Never been there. I was looking at the menu. I'm looking over at the bar, and at the bar, I'm like to myself, I'm like, Chad, that that really looks like Bernie Lubbers. Don't talk to yourself that way. If you don't know who Bernie Lubbers is, he's the whiskey professor. Um, he is the brand ambassador at Heaven Hill, and uh, I was like, I really feel like that's him. 
So I do the fake walk up to the bar and I'm like, ah, uh, and the bartender's like, can I help you? I'm like, no, I'm just trying to look, just trying to look and see what the, Bernie? <laughs> Cause I look over and I was him and I'm like, Bernie? And he's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, hey man, you know, uh, we met a couple times. I think last time was probably down in New Orleans at the Bourbon Festival. Uh, I'm Chad with uh, It's Bourbon Night. And he's like, oh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Oh, which has been a while ago. Yeah, it's been a while. I didn't expect him to, you know, remember me at all. Um, he's like, hey, how's it going? And he's sitting next to a guy there that he's with uh, from um, uh, Independent Stave. Or was it Kelvin? No, it was Independent Stave. Uh, Barrel Company. Don't ask me. I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Bernie Lovers. Uh, 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 you know, an uh, uh, important guy from Independent Stave, and then um, the bartender's like, "Do you just want to?" Because you know, I was kind of talking with him. He's like, "You want to just get your food here?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." So I moved up to the bar. Um, I'm, I ordered the burger. The bartender's like, "Do you want that with the egg?" And, and Bernie's like, "Yeah, he does." He's like, "Do you want that with uh, the bacon?" Bernie's like, "Yeah, he does." I'm like, "Okay, go ahead." So they bring me this burger. It's amazing. And then someone else comes and sits on the left of me, and it's Jason, Justin, Jason, Justin, Jason, Jason, Jason. Uh, memory. I'm pretty sure. Uh, from um, Peerless, who we had done a barrel pick with. Jason. Yes, and <laughs> yeah, my memory, my brain. We also know of some <laughs> Justins. So. I know that's the thing, and I always get them mixed up. Uh, Brett and Brent is another thing that just. Oh jeez. So, <clears throat> meet him in person. For the first time and uh so start talking to him and then i got you know uh, i got uh, uh bernie over here on this side you're in a sandwich i'm in this i'm in a bourbon sandwich and then uh so the people who are meeting jason there are you know like in a bourbon club and they uh start talking to bernie because he had driven like his his t-bird like his i want to say it was it's either 50s or 60s t-bird out there the thing is like a boat so long. So yeah, come on, let's go out and check it out. So we're out there outside of Bourbon's Bistro, looking at Bernie's T-Bird, and and uh, and there was someone there who recognized me from the shows. Were oh, like, take, uh, drop taking <laughs> pictures. Humble and, brag. No, no, no. It was just like this really awesome dude. And uh, so we we talked and we drank and uh, got some vintage pours and ate this amazing burger and fries. And I'm like. And you were there for several hours, let's be clear. Several hours. From like several 7 hours. to like 10 something. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, only in Kentucky, you know? On cloud nine. Here I thought I was just going to be like twiddling my thumbs for several hours. While I waiting knew that that Sarah. wouldn't be the case. And and the bourbon gods just opened up Smiled the sky and they said, here, here is a good time for you tonight, Chad. And I'm so And then I went and picked up Sarah. I'm so happy, and I had a kitten with me. And she had a kitten, and that's 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 a, that's a, that's a whole different. Story. That's a whole other. We don't have a kitten. I was just trying to save a kitten. Yes. And he stayed with us for one night. Yeah. Please welcome to the show, uh, Captain Trev Wilson. Captain Trev, here, Captain let me Trev, squeeze in here. Good to see Good you guys. guys. Good um, to see you. Thanks for, for thank, thanks, thanks for joining. Everybody. Thanks for joining. What? <laughs> thanks for joining. Um, Everyone, we are, I'm just here to say we are five likes away from the goal. And um, Oh, I feel like we can do it. Only you have the power. Can I like my own video? To have a, a captain take a shot of Jaeger on the internet. We just need to cross the 250. Only you have that power. Five people. No, All we need is five they're people. They're going to make it happen. I think I trust so. Them. What shirt are you wearing, Trev? What shirt am I wearing? Oh, my God. You mean this shirt? I love it. You mean it. this shirt? The original shirt. You know what, Trev? That's going for 300 on the secondary. I feel like I would like to rep your really? merch as well. I'll send you some. You don't have to do that. I will happily be a customer. Shut up. We're going to get it for free. Shut um, up. I want to support him. <laughs> hey, look. We got 266 thumbs up. Trev. Asking you shall receive. Uh, 268. Okay, so they, they say I have an echo, and I feel like it's every time I join you guys. I don't know. I don't hear an echo. But maybe it's just well, it might be on our end. Cause no, have... I think it's, I think it's because I'm on a computer and you guys are on Mac and you know, oh. internet, internet. But so here we go. We'll um. Oh no! <gasps> so everybody, 
Uh, here's to a uh, happy Monday. Cheers. Love you. That's not going to be happy Monday for anybody anymore. Oh, it's bourbon night. We're going. <laughs> Where'd he go? He left. He left. I think he just peaced. He left on the song? I love him so much. I love him so much. Wow. He's I, I a treat of a human. Did he leave I on purpose? I can't say too much. Chad will get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, have a captain's hat I can wear. Um, wow. Well, thank you, Trev. <laughs> thank you uh, for taking a ridiculously full wee Karen shot of Jaeger. That was a lot. I feel like he just did more than anything I ever did while we were still allowing Jaeger bombs to happen. <laughs> like, he just topped everything. So, if you're new to the channel, because uh, this hasn't happened since, I think we nixed that in 2020, early 2020. It was, yeah. I think uh, it was like, I said we're leaving it in 2019. Thank our, goodness, because I didn't need any more bad stuff to happen in 2020. So, back when we, when we started doing live... You know, 2018, I think, early 2018. Um, one, our first ever, I think, hundred dollars super chat was from um, Carl Ivy. That's how we got the name Carl the, the Legend. Legend Ivy. And we were like, "Well, what do you want us to do?" To do, or I think maybe before that, I'd said, "I was," I think I was baiting, trying to get like a hundred dollars super chat. And I you was like, said if we, we will take make... a Jaeger bomb uh, if we get a hundred dollars super chat," because I didn't think that I didn't think that was a thing. I didn't think anyone would do that. Mm. And then, and then Carl he did. steps up and he, he gives a hundred dollar super chat. He was like, "I'll show you." And then that sort of became like a thing. And then people were like, "Oh, we're putting in a group fund for them to do a Jaeger bomb," or someone would drop a hundred dollar super chat. And I felt like at least once a month we were chugging Jaeger bombs. Maybe I'm overestimating. It felt like a lot, and I absolutely detest. Well, it Jaeger. wasn't even. Well, it was the Jaeger because it has a very licorice taste. But and it was you also hate the Red licorice. Bull. But the Red Bull would like keep you up afterwards. I, yeah, there were multiple nights where we would go live at, you know, we end at nine and we yeah. would usually do the sh shot little at the OT end of the episode. Right now. Yeah. But we would do the shot at the end of the episode and it's got, I'm really sensitive to like caffeine and stuff. And so I would be up until like two o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep because of the Red Bull. So. It was just all around no good for me. And sometimes we wouldn't have uh, Red Bull, so we would do it with Monster. <laughs> Which wasn't any better. I mean, it tasted Actually, better. I, I, I liked it better. It tasted better, but yeah. it still kept me up all night. Um, so we decided to put that to bed. We Yeah, we did. It had to be done. And we've never had a $100 Super Chat since. No, I'm That kidding. is we not have. true. We, we have. We should, say, we should say thank you. <gasps> To Trev and to go subscribe to his YouTube channel if you've not already, the Bourbon Wrench. He should totally um, have a segment, David, that says, Captain Trev, welcome to the Bourbon Boat. He should totally have like <laughs> Welcome aboard the Bourbon Boat. I am no, Captain Trev. No, he doesn't have to do it like that. I think he should. But I think we need to get him like a nautical themed like anchor or oh. something made out of staves. That would be really cool. Where's my um Hundred dollars super chat and I'll come back on. I think, I think you might be. Uh, wow, Trevor, you work. You're putting yourself up there. Why are you working so hard? On a pedestal, yeah. No, not a pedestal. He's work. He's <laughs> he's doing. He's I working mean, the room. He's working the room. I appreciate it. I like this wooden. You know what? A lot. You're going. I mean, you were already on the Christmas list. You're going on the Christmas list. Making. I mean, I'm saying I'm making a mental note to make sure. To make sure. Because, I just love you so much. There you go. But an appropriate amount. Well, right? I, from, afar. From, a, from afar. An appropriate from afar. amount from yeah. afar. I can't have you have the only Stag Junior pour of the night. I was wondering when you were going to notice that. Yeah. But yeah, all I was trying to say was I'm really glad that you had your own Louisville adventure that night because we, when we go to events, we're always together because, I mean, we're a package deal, right, with the yeah. channel. Um, and obviously we're also married. So it was really actually nice in a way not like i can't wait to get away from you but like sometimes you know when something's good for you but you don't necessarily want to do it like i don't like going to events without chad because i don't know if you guys believe this but i'm a little bit of an introvert so it's kind of hard for me to talk to new people i know seems weird right unless i have my talking juice um <laughs> and so i was a little hesitant right i 
I was a little nervous about going by myself, but I also wanted to do it because I think it's important for us to do things separately because it forces us out of our comfort zone of when we're together, we're just going to talk, not just talk to each other, but we will cling to each other. When we're together, we're Chad and Sarah. When we're apart, we're our own individual people. Sarah, we're Chad and... and it's just different. It is different. And after doing this for over five years, I think it's really good for us to have our own individual experiences. Because, you know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> because, yeah. Two holes. Two halves don't make a hole. Two holes make a hole. It's a lot of holes. Not a hole. By the way, this is batch 12. Jeez. It's summer of 2019. It's 132.3 proof. And you know what I had to do, and I recommend this if you want to do it yourself at home. It's put a little sticker on the back here that, that gives you that information. Because Please do it's it. It's so damn hard to remember so hard. the name of the batch, the number of the batches and all that. I feel like bourbon should be labeled as Kentucky Talking Juice. Thank you, Eric. I agree. <laughs> um, and hey. yeah, is it an extroverted introvert or am I an introverted i think i'm an extrovert uh, half empty introvert. half full sarah so i'm an introvert jake says i was in justin's house of bourbon earlier brent said uh that you were all in, were in there just the other day just missed you yep yeah i was i was in there we do frequent them places, facilitating though. a deal facilitating and it happened pulling some not for us strings for but, a friend but for someone and it happened and it's going to be amazing that's all i'll say trev don't don't hurt yourself. If we collectively reach one hundred dollars super chats and or he's got the liver of likes, a mid twenties. Another freaking Jaeger bomb. I'm that wasn't a Jaeger bomb. That was just a shot of Jaeger. He bombed that Jaeger. Without It was a lot. The bomb portion. It but a, it was a lot. I, and for I I mean, so what? He didn't drink Red Bull, boo hoo. He had a No, I feel like it's full of, I feel like it's worse. Oof. I feel like what he did was was more intense because there was no Red Bull. Anyways. Hey, there's 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 Dan. Ambivert says Polyd Polydonis? Yeah. Uh Julie wrote on all our stack juniors with Sharpie just for that reason. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Julie. I'm I mean like I don't do this. Chad actually does the labeling, but I love that you do that because I'm I like love Turns you on, right? It does. <laughs> I organization is like Mm. Yeah. Uh, a thing. I like it. I also it. have my hang tag system. Yes, on I like it these. very much. What we paid for it, when it was bought, where it was bought from. Or if it was a gift and from who and on yep. what date. Yep. Yes, so that yep. we can remember because we've got a lot of bottled traffic. <laughs> We're not trafficking bottles. Don't be mistaken. Oh. That sounds... Seen that movie Traffic? That's no. what it's about. <laughs> uh, Glenn and Kathy uh, Golf Whiskey. Uh, get the Jaeger ball rolling. That There's. None yet to go. Thank you, guys. Should I just order food? Or <laughs> yeah, we did not eat dinner before this. Gonna... We normally eat before the live. We did not. Now Sean is saying, uh, I feel like Chad needs to show Trev how to do a proper Jaeger bomb. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the ingredients we, at this point. We, we don't. We definitely do not have the Red Bull. Stefan says I'm selectively extroverted. I think that. Mm. Um, you all bring out the most energy that I have. Like the top amount of excitement and energy to see people and meet people and talk to them about anything I get from being with this community. <laughs> but when I lay my head down on the pillow at night, after those interactions, I feel Ooh. like my mm -hmm. tank is on empty. Like my, my battery is completely drained. Sure. And that's why or I'll usually... I get charged up. Where Chad's the opposite. He's like... The, unless it's, I have the power. <laughs> unless it's three days in a row. Then, then we're I both get, drained. But I I'm like, drained. then I I'm oh, like, oh, you didn't have to do that. Well, so first of all, we had well, Captain I, Trevor Wilson, the Bourbon Ranch, saying eighty-two mo dollars, and I'll do another Jaeger shot. Why am I doing this? Hashtag Team Wendy's. And then the gauntlet was thrown down by Dan Like of Lifetime Whiskey of Dan and Julie with. A hundred doll hair super chat saying this is indirect. Which, like, honestly, you guys trash. spoil us, and I just feel like. And then. Also going on the Christmas list. <laughs> and then Kimber says, "Thank you both for making my Sunday night always. Love you guys and your channel. Thank love you. you too, love you. I hope Thank your you. throat feels better. Uh, here's a big triangle for all of that, and I guess oh, Trev will be welcoming him back in here in a second. The double. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. 
And you know what? If we had the stuff, I would race Trev in an actual. What if I just finish this stuff? Jaeger bomb chug. Is that? But we don't have. Nick it. the Greek says, "Just see the captain's hat one more time." Is it the same there link? You go. Are you just joining in from the same link? I yeah. think so. Yeah, it's just the same link. Thank <gasps> you, Brian. Thank you, Nick. So if we get two hundred dollars, what will Trev do? I mean, oh I'm my god! No. Well, oh there's twenty and twenty five right there. Thank you, Brian. If I do a shot of Stag Junior, I'm pretty sure my throat will actually light on fire. And then Michelle Martin saying, "Don't do it, Trev." Well, here he is. Please welcome to the show. I think the most you guys can do is is make sure that you're subscribed to Trev, Trev's channel, like. <laughs> Sir, yeah. oh, oh no, they brought me back in. Yeah, there you are. Um, For one, I did not know that Dan Like was in the chat. <laughs> you done goofed. Dude, yeah. two hundred dollars and see what Trev will do. Bring it on. Let's see what I will do. For two hundred. Well, hold on. We got Richie Z saying the whiskey community gives me dopamine. <laughs> Cheers, Chad and Sarah. I think I feel the same Thank way. You, I yeah. think I feel the same way. Yeah. Is the shot of Stag Jr. better or worse than the Jaeger bomb? I mean, I better. Taste a shot of Stag Jr. Tastes um, better, burns worse. Ah, oh, Malort for two hundred. I can't even hear the word Malort. Oh, there's that echo. I, I hear, hear it now. now. I hear it. Joseph. Joseph. 200 bucks. Ray said, sure, I'll play. It's like roulette. What's going to happen? Joseph with a $50 super chat. Let's see. Trev. Then we have oh. Ray King of the North saying, uh, sure, I'll play. Sure, I'll play. I feel Let's like go. we're way over our, our, Trev. our limit. So Our I goal. will say I'm only doing half of my mini Glencairn of the Jaeger because I think that's still a full ounce and a half though. Well, someone say take your shirt off, Trev. <laughs> Ryan. No, don't. Three hundred dollars and my shirt's off. Woo! I can't this participate is in this. For me, though. I I don't know how you guys used to do Jaeger all the time. Like I hate this stuff. I hate right. it. Oh my God! What have we started? Jason Newman, <laughs> do it. Ian, I can't. I'm in, and I there mean, it goes. Ethan, I have uh, to with leave. a fifty dollar. Uh, th this <laughs> oh, this has to have it close to three hundred now, right? Do it, Trev. Yeah, I think we're over that. Thank you, Ethan. Wow. I um, I go, I. Baby. Should we be doing something? I'm not taking my shirt off. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, hey, look. All I'm going to say is this is a typical Friday night for me. So you guys better catch up. Two, you you have to do at least a little something. I will do I'll do the heavy hitting. Which okay, you, you guys hold on. Just, hold on. Let mm, me. Mike. Oh, it's over. It's over. Hold on. Let me. Give me a second. You might have to take over the super chats here for a second, Sarah. The, Malort for the win. Thank you, Mike, for that uh, for that super chat. I can't even move. Wh Where are you going? Don't leave me. Oh, we forgot about that. It's. We'll do it next week. Yeah, Shush, next move, week. move on. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Freaking Trev, love you guys. I love you, but only a, a normal amount. <laughs> And I actually take that back because now that I had Malort in my glass, I don't know how much I actually love you. I hate Malort. So I can't even look at you smelling it. It's so gross. It makes me mad. It makes, it makes me. me I'm angry. not even smelling it, and it makes me irrationally angry. If if anyone's in the chat right now, and you have not had Malort, just. Punch yourself in the face, and that's the same exact thing. It's the same thing! I agree. It's not bad. Wait, what if I do a Stag Junior bottle chug? Is that fair? I, I, look, at this point, I don't care what you do. Like, it's not good. Wait, what did you just say? Stag Junior bottle chug doesn't even equate how It how doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know what to do. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> I've, I've dug my own grave and I'm going to lay in it. Wait, Chad's gonna do the Malort with you. Let's go. 
Oh, let Kev, me, I love you so much. Let me I wash, hope you come visit again soon. Let me wash it out hey. so, you know, it's not uh, So we can not abuse each other like this in person. I will only treat you right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are available for like a Tuesday, um, a Tuesday Louisville trip, but I'll be there on a Tuesday. What? Slash, I will be at Maker's Mark on a Wednesday. We can make ourselves available, depending on the week. I think... Oh. I'll message you guys and let you know what's happening. Let us know. Yeah, oh, Lord. Go ahead and and get it. Get it Can ready. I just let me? Ah! <laughs> it's stupid. This is stupid. Whoever did this purposely. Who made hates this? Me. Yours actually I... looks better in that wee Karen than mine does in this full-size Glen Karen. Well, I don't know about it has a... some Jaeger mixed into it a little bit. So oh, it's well, that, that makes sense. That Well, it might that actually might take it, make it taste better. Jordan G wants to know, how do I get in these war games? <laughs> you don't want to be here. Hey, no, no, no. You just email me. I'll send you whatever the heck you want to drink. I'll send you, I'll send you the rest of this bottle, my friend. Oh, Joey Tony bag of donuts. The super chat. Let's go, Chad and Trev. I'm doing Malort finished in Revolution Brewery barrels. Is that a thing? <laughs> hey, hey! Before you go forward, though, Malort, do not discredit them. This is a bourbon store pick from Malort, and it's freaking good. Mm. Um, I haven't had a pick. We have regular Malort bourbon. We weren't too crazy about it, but a pick, yeah, whatever. All right, can we this just get pick, it over with? This pick is good. Um, whatever is in this is swill. Yeah, it is. It's pure so, evil, in my opinion. At least it's only 70 proof. I don't oh, care what uh -oh. it is. It, it, tastes, it's, it could be zero proof. It, it's, it tastes terrible. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly, says Scott. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many chugs I'm going to be able to get out of this. No, 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 no. One, one, just, one, one you just do one. You do one little mouthful, and Chad and I will take the brunt of this. Okay. All right. What a weird evening this has become. Cheers. So many things. Sink it, and let's sink it. Hmm. Hmm. I hate whoever Ooh. made this. Ha, that's hot. I hate them. Whoever, whoever decided, yes, let's bottle this. I hate you, and I hope you're watching this. I actually just put fingernail scratches into our table inadvertently because I just pain like that. Um, see them. I do. I do see them. You know, before I just abruptly end the stream again, because I don't want to take up your time. Um, you you could never take up I our will time. say, about Malort, it's not the worst tasting thing I've ever had. Like, I would say probably Dickel Tabasco is the worst tasting sounds, thing I haven't had that. that I put into my mouth. Um, but this is the most unenjoyable. It's so bitter that it it just makes me mad. It's just it's so it's not good. It's bitter. Not good. It's not it's good. It's not oh. nice. Hold on. Put this up here. I feel like we just watched an alcoholic stand up <laughs> at the OK Corral. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, Trev, I hope you know that like we're gonna pay it forward in the super chats for you. No, 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 no. That, no, I know that's do. not why you did it. I know, but I, you know, this is what we do. But we it's love fun, you. And um, the people showed up, so I'm gonna own up. They to did. It, so the flavor do. profile of Malort. I don't think there is a flavor profile. It is bitter. Um. Wow. This is. Let, no, no, no. Let's, right let's try and describe Malort. We just drank it. Let's let's describe it. Um. Oh. I feel I've never had ipecac. 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 The stuff you drink to make yourself throw up. But I feel like I just have to imagine that's what ipecac tastes like. 
Do you think that- Shake Shack is still open? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys about to go buy some some of that? Maybe. We didn't eat dinner. I was going to cook, but I don't think I should be around appliances right no, now. You need to go to Wendy's. I've already started the Wendy's fund. That's what that's what it was. This super chat was to go to Malort slash Wendy's fund. <laughs> okay. I accept. Yeah, okay. This is like... <laughs> Malort to me is like a green apple. But the most bitter. So you take the greenest apple that you've ever had. And and it does smell apple. like a Granny Smith apple. It sticks around, By too. By a thousand, though. It's, it's amplified so much that you right hate one. your life for biting yeah, it. That's it. Yeah, I don't like it, though. It's you not see that? good. You see that on the screen, Trev? Wait, why is, Wait, why is the still shirt on? still on? No, because it's, it's, please. It's bourbon night. I will not take my shirt off over here. I'm classy. We're too classy. Uh, you, okay. It's my stream about 11 o'clock on a Friday. It might come off. Not here. That's why you need to subscribe to the Bourbon Wrench, everybody. There you go. Hot shirt off Captain Hats I have to thank you for action. keeping your shirt on. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah has less Dad filter has right now, so. I have less filter. That's all I'm going to say. God, it sticks around, though. It, like, digs itself into your tongue taste buds. And it's like, no, I'm here all night. That's I'm here catch. all night. Tip it's, your waitresses. That's the catch. Like, after you drink it, I, I, I would hate to say the finish of it, but it literally does feel like I still have Malort in my mouth. So, I, I agree. Stay there. So, terrible. Sting the Third, he's Chicago born and bred. Malort is a rite of passage. Agreed. So, my, I did it. My friend Michelle in Chicago. moved to Chicago. We went up there to visit her, and we had our very first ever shot of Malort at a bar in Chicago. It we've, was. We've done that rite of passage. So, we've. It, oh, God. It, it was, was awful. That was somehow worse. It was warm. Oh. Yeah. It, it was, was warm. really warm. It was warm. And that a bar rite has. Of passage. Is it like, they know that it's bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I think that, like, there's people that like it, right? You know? Like, every, no, like they make it for no a reason. Likes. Somebody likes it. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan just subbed. Thanks. I can't believe this is what got you to sub. <laughs> Honestly, this is not the norm. Uh, another super chat from Sean saying, just because tonight was off the hook. Thank you, Sean. Trev. Hey, well, what I'm, can I do I'm for you? And let you end your show however you're going to end it. I feel like you I mean, <laughs> I mean, do you like what, hats? What did I say? My what secondary like that goal? What the, what the crash we show? We'll, we'll, can we I'm crash your show sometime? We can do another one. No, <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> That's 40 more thumbs ups. And I don't think we have the people in here right now for that. I think everyone is well, thumbs up. There's 40 people who are just lurking who have no. <laughs> no, there's been people who check. come in and gone. 311. That's that's a that's a good place to leave it. I feel like. No. Uh, I don't yeah. think we're gonna hit 350 tonight. Yeah, you hit um, everyone. If we hit 320 and one more five dollar super chat, I'll do one more malort short. Oh malort short. I'm already <laughs> feeling it. Come on, people. Why? We need, we need three more likes and we need Literally. one more five dollar super chat. Let's Nobody go. Nobody. This said. is like this is like a a Jerry Lewis telethon from hell. <laughs> Who wants to see some? Well, pain? we hit the three twenty. There's the three twenty. Well, let me bump it up to three. Ian Clark said no Let's more. Go. Let's go. <laughs> he Let's said going. please. No. Three twenty five. This is what we're talking about. Three thirty three. This is what Sundays mean to me. Wow. And, uh, well, I'm glad. Well, Sundays are messed up for you. And you know what? I'm all about the pain. Wow. I don't hey, think people want to... Listen, you know, for me... Well, there's okay. John Wadsworth. For me, the irony is the fact that we answered the question of, we don't drink that much oh, <laughs> earlier. And, oh, here they come. Let's here they go. come. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. that Just uh, for the delay... So, John Wadsworth, you're amazing. Brian Brennecke. No, no, no. John Wadsworth is not amazing. He did this to hurt me. Y- you're amazing. But you asked for it. <laughs> SFG Flying High 1, you're amazing. Chad Reed. Scott Piggly, you're amazing. <laughs> Katie. Katie, you're amazing. Chad, Chad, you're amazing. 
Sean, you're amazing. You're going to just say Whiskey that? Food okay. Dude, you're amazing. Mike, you're amazing. Michelle, you're amazing. Wow. So we need All five of- more likes, and then we'll have to do two of them. Let's go. <laughs> no, no Trav, no. we no. got to call it. No. <laughs> We're at 930. So Michelle said for Trev, Mike said yeah, chug chug, Uh, Whiskey Food Dude said cheers, Sean said get Trev an Ivy and Captain's hat. Jason said what the hell, Uh, and I agree. Chad super chatted, Katie said cheers y'all, Scott said bottoms up Trev, SG flying high one said love you Trev. Brian said, well, Trev sounds like he wants that last drink of Malort. He wants it. And John Wadsworth said, for Trev. And then then Jason Jason. said, what the hell? And I agree. We have Tyler. Who said, well, that escalated quickly. (laughs) We have Derek. Same. Have lived in Chicago for 35 years and have avoided it. Well, I was in Chicago once and I had to take it. Good for you, Derek. You are a smart fellow. And Trev loves us. And Greer saying Trev loves you guys. Reciprocated. We do. I do love you guys. Um, And for the guy who lived in Chicago for 35 years. Derek. Go ahead. Let me know your email address. I'm going to go ahead and order you. (gasps) No. No, I'm sure he has. Um, Access to the movie? Access to it. So we're over 350 likes. We got five times 10 there. Uh, So Trev. The floor is yours, my friend. Just do it, says Francisco. Francisco. And Big Vic says, take my money. Cheers. And uh, I agree. Shut up and take my money, says Big Vic. Oh, he's adding to it, folks. Oh, Trev, don't do that. We No, 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 no. We hit the 350, you don't. which was my secondary you goal. No, 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 no. Chad. Chad, 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 Chad. This is for you. You this don't have to for do you. this. Sarah, you don't have to grab the stag. This is for you guys. This is what I do. So. I can't let him go down like that alone. Here's a piss loaded (laughs) Malort. What have we become? What? All right. No, no, no. no. Wait. Uh, (laughs) Cheers. Batch 11 fall. They have reached the challenge. 2018. They They have stepped up and they have reached. You guys have owed people the the Jaeger bombs for too long, and we're making up for it tonight. No Ethan's more right. asking for it. Oh Stop. my God! Hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Wait, no, no. We got it. We gotta draw the line. Howard, with a fifty dollars super chat. With no words, just yep. just. Ray, King of the North, saying for the pain and suffering that you have already endured, and for the, and for the Advil. Advil tomorrow morning. Thank you. King I don't have anywhere to be. All right, let's do That's this. That's a lot of malort in my glass. Honestly, oh wait. I God. hope. Let's get in here, cute. I hope there's a screenshot of this. Yes, do it. Let's take a screenshot. Screenshot. Look cute. I'm blurry. <laughs> all right, all right. And last one from Glenn and Kathy Golf Whiskey. Drink, Drink it, it and sink, sink it. it. And I think that's a good place to land. All right. We, and we're going to call it after this. There's no more. Right, right. There's no more. All right. Bye. Yeah. I have no more challenges for you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Good Lord. Oh. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> mm, I love you. love you. It hurts. I love you so much. It hurts. Yeah, that's, 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 I think I'm I being honest, for you guys. This... what'd he say? What'd you say? I think I could die for you guys. I think you're going, oh. I think you're going to, I think you're going to. I think that's, I think it's my body shutting down. From Kimber, duo Stag Jr. up, bottoms up. My liver is not thrilled. But I will say, I recommend, I we just started taking a liver supplement. It's a, I, I mean, I don't want to like peddle you supplements, but <laughs> it does help me feel better. So. And, and Missile Man saying, here's for the coffin fund. <laughs> Dark. And I honestly, like that's like my it. favorite type of humor. No, I so like it. I love it. How morose. We should go eat food. Yeah, we yeah. need to have dinner. Uh, There's no more challenges for night. 35 for minutes OT tonight. And, Honestly, like the weirdest 35 minutes. Definitely, definitely uh, delivered. Uh, paved the way for those uh, for those OT minutes. Thank you, and thank you to, to Captain Trev Wilson 
Uh, again, if you have not subscribed to him already, he is the Bourbon Wrench on YouTube. Oh. He does shit like this and more. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best description. Put that on your bottle. Put that on your neck tag, Trev. And chug it. And chug it. Trust uh, me. We, we, we sync a lot of things. Don't worry. Yeah, he's 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 a good friend. We we have we have met uh, we several times now and be guests. many time in the future. When you're ready. And Francisco with a super chat saying some people just want to watch the world but some people <laughs> just Oh some, some some people just want to watch the world burn. Master Wayne. I failed you. I don't know if it's because of this Dag Jr., but I feel like that was pretty good. Uh, Okay, okay. I, I failed you. All right, stop. I failed you. Stop. <laughs> Some people... It's not the Stag like... Jr. That's just a really good impersonation. It's all part of the plan. Poor Tonic67 says, this is the first time I've joined you guys live, and it was great. Cheers. <laughs> well, it's not always like this. Uh, this is yeah. like a one of a kind. Mm. All right, all right. Shut it down. I'm like a dog chasing a car. I wouldn't know what to do if I caught it. Huh. All right. All right. Cool. That was honestly nobody can do Heath Ledger though. I know it's true. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. you tried. Uh oh! Last super chat of the evening comes Tony. from Tony R. Thank you. I'm Thank gonna you, cheers Tony. you with some water because <laughs> help. Some delicious because H2O. Send help. All right. Thank you, Trev. We love you, and we would be happy to be. Uh, abuse doing bottle chugs on your show anytime. Hey, see you this Friday, you suckers. Uh, <laughs> oh, we'll be out of town. Oh, no. We will? <laughs> yes. Friday, suckers. Okay, we'll be out of town next Friday, so never mind. We'll, 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 we'll email about it. What this end card we'll says text. that says thanks for watching because it's not accurate. But uh, It does say th thanks for watching. It says thanks for watching. We just won't see you next Sunday. Yes, we will. Oh. Not Friday. We won't see you Friday. Say goodbye. All right. Good, 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 goodbye. Thank you.